massive game between these two teams, of course. Clan winning the previous meeting, 3-2 in Kirkcaldy, just before Christmas. Rasmus Bierum scoring twice for the clan that day. Now it's Marcus Passara. It's a low one! Marcus Passara in the inside left strikes a diagonal shot. Low to Joe Rumpel's left. And with a minute and a half on the clock already, the five flyers have taken an early lead. That's got the away fans on their feet already. As they move it forward, Chad Smith goes after it down the right hand side. It's a little too far from Rumpel. That's an error. Chad Smith tried the shot. Rumpel somehow got across his crease to make the block. That was an open goal. He's redeemed himself a little bit there, Rumpel. And the Flyers back in play. Crowder didn't see the pass coming back. And it's Mike Howlett. Good stick work from young Mike Howlett. Oh, unlucky. Terrific shot from the GB under 20. Shane on. Had to get something on it. Stofflet at the blue line. Feeds into the centre, but Scott Pitt with the interception. Some of you have been tweeting in. We'll get one or two of you. A little shout out in a minute. Matt Becker. That's a big hit with Gauthier. Matt Becker can't quite force it in. Shane Owen sprawled across his crease. Becker got a couple of chances at it. The five defence just seemed to watch him. Now there's going to be a penalty on Fife. A holding penalty. Vaclav Stupka. And that's uh, right hand corner where we are. Connolly, good layoff for Doucette. Doucette takes it round on, but there's no one there to finish off. Good bit of stick work from Guillaume Doucette. Takes it round on, nudges it back into the centre. And no one there in black to tuck it away. That was a real chance. Well, we haven't been short of drama. Plenty of chances, that's for sure. As we enter into the last few seconds, Joe Basaraba was given the goal. I'm fairly sure it was Basara. But Gerard Hansen comes in from the left-hand side and delivers the equaliser for the Glasgow clan with a second to go of this first period. Gerard Hansen brings in from the left spots the gap and beats Shane Owen and the clan have levelled with a second to go then get noisy once again there are two teams the five flyers it's Buesa down the left hand side Buesa former clan player of course now Fitzgerald it bounces away from the youngster to Fitzgerald but Cazola intercepts just inside the blue line has to contend with Scott Pitt He's got Basara alongside him and Joel Rumpel on his hands and knees making the block. Now the puck will drop in the face-off circle to our left in front of Rumpel's goal. Basara on the turn, tries the shot. And it goes wide, Clan able to win it back. Bit of a tussle here between Zach Sullivan and it looks like Basara. Zach Sullivan not like him to get in a position like this. The two men having a bit of a scrap. A bit of, I say a scrap, more like a grapple. Basara and Sullivan. The two men still hold on to, holding on to each other. The officials come over. And a round of applause. Jammed up in the corner, but it's brought back out by Gautier. Cazola to his left. Cazola, that's a good low effort. And it goes wide, that was... Ricards Berzins, clan forward again. Bierum backhanded. Owen has his near post covered. Bierum has it back. Now Stanish. Pitt in some space. Pitt does the damage. Sends the puck through the five hole. And Owen is beaten for a second time. Pitt had space as he arrived late in front of the crease. A touch with a stick. And backhanded low under Shane Owen in the neutral zone. Dinks it forward, but nobody quite there. Fitzgerald for Tansky. Tansky holds off Stofflet. It's right in front of Bierum, right at the crease. Owen has scrambled across his crease. There are three Flyers players trying to deny the Dane. The puck wouldn't move. Bierum swiped at, this, at, at the black disc. His stick just wouldn't make contact. And that's a let-off for the five flyers. 
as they come forward again. They're the team on the power play, remember? Nine minutes to go of the second period, just under 30 of the penalty. Basaraba. The shot goes wide and comes back out at this left hand side. Arson comes in, doesn't quite deal with it, and it's Becker. Clean through on Shane Owen. Matt Becker just wide. As he was trying to move the puck on. Five in the clan zone at the moment as Bulmer tries to just drag it away from Stanish. Inside the final five minutes of the second period. Now it's Stanish through the centre. Matt Stanish doesn't open up for him, not quite. Shane Owen is on the ground, but Stimka has forced it over the line. And Clan go 3 1 ahead. Now we're seeing a fight between Matt Stanish and I can't see who the five player is. But both players, I think it's Brett Bulmer. Stanish and Bulmer going at it behind the five goal, just in front of the wall of fame end. Bulmer laying in a couple of punches, Stanish having to hold back, Bulmer gets another right-handed punch in. Stanish now hitting back, left-handers. And Stanish hits the deck first. And Matt Stanish rises to the acclaim of the home fans. Bulmer's jersey has come off. And it looks as though the referees are going to refer to goal line tech regarding that goal. Oh yeah, there was a goal in there. Backlav Stupka, we think, got it, but the referees will refer to the technology just to make sure. Well, we hear some cheering. Anticipation here. The tension is quite something. And the goal has been given. Vaclav Stupka's goal stands. And the clan go 3-1 up. Vaclav Stupka with his 10th goal of the season, 30th point of the campaign so far from the Slovakian. McKenzie up the left-hand side. McKenzie making his 499th appearance in all Elite League competitions today. All going well, should make his 500th against Milton Keynes on Wednesday. Now here's Pitt. Backhanded looks for Stupka. Becker has it. Wilson tries the early one. Owen making the pad save. It's Becker! Forces in the rebound and the clan. A minute and six seconds into the third period. Have made it 4 1. And the day just gets a little bit better for the Glasgow clan. Hogmanay Hockey coming to you live with Clan Radio Live. I'm Craig Anderson taking you through the action. We have had ongoing connectivity issues this afternoon. For that, we apologise. But hopefully you're enjoying what we have been able to bring you. It's Becker, Doucette, with Clan on the power play. Earhart taps it back into the centre at the blue line for Connolly. Becker in the face-off circle, turns to the outside. Looks for an option in the centre. It gets away from Connolly, but Pitts... On the right hand side, fading into the red line, and Connolly forces over the line. And Shane Owen is beaten for a fifth time. Two and a half minutes, the pass from Scott Pitt found Connolly at the red line. He turned and he forced in at the far post. Of this Elite League clash, Glasgow clan against the Five Flyers. Thanks for listening. If you're tuning in, this is Clan Radio Live. There's Clan still looking to do something here. They're in the five zone. It's Fitzgerald comes across the blue line. Moves it back the way. Stanish tries the shot. Comes off Bulmer and that releases Bulmer. He's one on one with Rumpel. Does Bulmer do it? And he does. Brett Bulmer pulls one back for the five flyers. Matt Stanish's shot. Bulmer standing right in front of him. And Boomer saw a clear path to goal and applied the finish. Now it's Boomer. Five make entry into the clan zone. Basaraba tries to do something with it. Kazola tries to force it over. Rumpel was a little bit unsighted. It was right in front of him eventually. The clan defence swoop in to clear it. And again, the Five Flyers players asking some questions of the clan defence. Wilson 
Tees it up for Bierum. Now Wilson back to Bierum. Can't quite keep it under control. Becker. Will there be one more chance? The shot comes off Owen. But it's all over. The final buzzer goes. And it signals a 5-2 victory for the Glasgow clan to wrap up 2018. They went a goal down after a minute and a half through Marcus Basara, even though it was credited as Joe Basaraba. I believe that will be rectified later on. Clan hit back, Gerard Hansen with a goal. A second from the end of the first period. Second period, Marcus from Scott Pitt and Vaclav Stupka made it 3-1. Matt Becker and Brendan Connolly made it 5-1 in the third period. Brett Bulmer pulling one back. And that's why it's ended Glasgow Clan 5, Five Flyers 2.